Hey, what's up guys? I just wanted to do a quick video. I know I've had some conversations with some of you about what I use to mechanically clean the tools. Um, so I wanted to just show you guys real quick. This is about the <laughs> cheapest, most economical way uh, that you could possibly do it. Um, this is probably the most least expensive uh, bench grinder you could find at Home Depot or Lowe's. This is the Ryobi. Um, if you guys are just doing this stuff on the weekends, I mean, this is more than uh, going to take care of what you need it for. Um, you know, I'm not doing anything major. I'm cleaning tools with it um, and maybe polishing up some other stuff. But um, this, this is going to do the job. Um, what, I, what I obviously did is I modified it just a little bit. So it'll come with the light and the, you know, the, the magnifying glass, and the tool holder and all that. I just took, it all, I took that all off. Um, and what I've actually done is uh, you can buy these wire wheels. You guys, I find these at Ross, Marshalls. I mean, I, I can find these just about anywhere. They're about four or five bucks. Um, or you can get them pretty cheap at Harbor Freight. Um, and then I, I went ahead and bought uh, the polishing kit for Ryobi uh, for other stuff. But in order to do this, guys, if you guys want to set it up like this, where you have the wheel on one side and the polishing wheel on the other, when you, when you buy this, uh, most grinders will only come with one spacer. And it's this little black thing right here. Um, I actually bought another one. You're going to need two. You can get it at partswarehouse.com for $3.99. Um, they'll ship it to you, throw it on there. You'll be able to tighten them both down uh, pretty well. Um, and this works pretty incredible, guys. I'll use Evaporust or something like that for you know to start. Um, use this to kind of clean them up real quick, and they come out really great. Um, if you don't have one of these or you don't want to spend 40 bucks to put this together, obviously you can go buy a, a wire cup or something like that, a drill attachment. Harbor Freight has them super cheap. It's like $6 for the whole kit. Um, or that wheel, you can buy these wheels also for your drill, um, and it comes in that kit as well. So if you have a clamp, you can just clamp the tool down and, and, and do it that way. Uh, but I can tell you guys, this is pretty easy. These are super cheap. Uh, this whole setup maybe was 40 bucks, 50 bucks, um, and this will definitely do the job. If you guys have any other questions, let me know. If you guys need the link for Parts Warehouse, let me know, and I'd be happy to send it to you. Uh, have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.